Here we have a nice uh, stock image of, well, honestly, someone I don't know. <laughs> but today we are going to fix up her skin using layer masks. Um, layer masks are really useful whenever you want to alter one part of an image without changing a lot, plus you can uh, decide where you change it and how much and things like that. First you can start off by uh, using the healing tool. You can select somewhere by holding alt and then you know dabbing away on spots that have something wrong with them. That usually can get rid of major like acne or things like that. But the real part of this tutorial is how to use the layer mask, which is this icon here. Um, first, you can copy the new layer by dragging it on this symbol here. Then you edit the image how you want it to be. In this case, we want the skin blurred, so we can layer mask the skin to make it look blurry and nice, so very smooth, like they would do at a uh, to a model's picture. Go down here and you click on layer mask and it'll come up with a white spot here that has masked this image with a layer mask. <coughs> Make sure these two colors are selected, black and white, and then press X and then control backspace. You notice this is filled with black now, which means that this image is back to the way it was. Black is space that is not filled with the new image, and white is space filled in with the newer version of the image. You select the brush tool and then choose white. What you can do is turn the flow to whatever you want. If you want it kind of subtle, you can turn these down. Um, but then you basically start brushing in the skin and as you'll notice it'll start becoming blurrier. Uh, that's all there really is to it. You just have to make sure you don't overdo it. Uh, if your face looks way too airbrushed it'll be obvious to tell first of all. <clears throat> Second it will just look bad and get rid of all detail. Try not to airbrush too much around the lips. Completely avoid the lips, eyes, and most parts of the nose except for the top. If uh, by the time you're done blurring the skin, you think that it's a bit much, you can always turn down the opacity of the layer or make it a certain mode here. In this case it is pretty uh, pretty blurred. The skin was nice to begin with so we can turn that down. Uh, you end up with pretty soft looking skin. Uh, you can't really tell a difference because it's a YouTube video and quality is butchered but the skin is a lot smoother and it looks nice and neat. All the details are blurred away so you can not see any imperfections really. The goal is to hide any imperfections and that's it. You can also use a layer mask for other things like changing skin color or tone. <coughs> if you want a, kind of a darker complexion Oh, not that dark. Something along these lines, you can always do the same thing. Take a brush like this. Oh, not that big. Something like that. And begin to fill in the skin with the color. This will not always look like it matches the photo because it won't look natural most of the time. As you can see, there's some skin showing here, and it will not match the face. But, for the sake of showing something on tutorial, 
here you can change the skin tone after you have this layer mask if you decide you blurred the eye or made it too dark you know this one isn't as dark as this one you can always go back to black and fill in the part you don't want to be that color as the new image and that's the difference good thing is you can leave these here and if you want to make the makeup stand out more you can you know go to levels can make it dark add some light well that looks good for now you can create the layer mask again you can go back on this and fill in the part where she has makeup and it'll be just like you had it in the photo this can also be used for editing the eye color you can go to adjustments color balance because this is the most natural way I think to edit eye color and you can pick a color from here of course sometimes you can't really tell whether it's gonna look good or not so you'll have to go back and change some things some green looks nice we're just focusing on the eyes here create a layer mask fill with black and go back in and oops it's a little too soft pick a harder brush <laughs> and fill them in with green or whatever color you chose of course the opacity and flow should be up to a uh, hundred if you want the full effect <clears throat> after you're done well you can fix the pupils a little bit <laughs> oh never mind okay you can turn opacity down and they become hazel instead of completely brown or you can just apply color which still makes them a bit too bland and green you can do one of these filters like light and color oh none of these look very good <coughs> well, that looks okay I guess just put it back to normal put opacity up to 60 and voila